My name is Michael Smirnov. I work in the lab of Ryohei Yasuda at uh, the Max Planck Florida Institute for Neuroscience. I work with the brain and I try to understand the cellular and molecular mechanisms that are responsible for our learning and our memory. I uh, use microscopy techniques to visualize how certain cellular functions actually create memories and reinforce uh, certain learning behaviors. Hopefully we can get results that can create real changes for uh, patients in the future, people suffering from Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, things like that. I work in a fairly large lab. We have about 20 people in my lab. Everybody has their own project. There's a lot of independence in science. Um, it's one of the very nice things about it. You get to choose your own path and uh, stick with it. If something works out, great, you keep going. If it doesn't, you could always go in a different way. I was born in Moscow, Russia. And back then it was the Soviet Union. I came to the United States when I was seven years old in 93. I went to school in New Jersey. Um, I grew up mostly in New Jersey. I went to college in upstate New York, in, uh, to Union College. And uh, after that, I did a few years work doing research at the NIH. And I went to graduate school at Georgetown University in Washington, DC. In college, I first I went into, I tried everything. Uh, I tried philosophy, I tried psychology, I, I tried physics, I tried math. The blending of psychology of biology was very exciting to me. And the fact that I can look at somebody and say, you're acting like this because a certain area of your brain is firing in a specific way seemed very cool and kind of very awesome to me. The solutions that we have have to be very specific concentrations to keep all of our cells and all of our brains, all of our slices healthy. A lot of what goes on in my lab has to do with recreating the signals that uh, would normally happen in a live brain, but seeing this on a cellular level under the microscope. I essentially try to teach computers to do what we do. I would say essentially I'm trying to build a, a smarter imaging computer and a smarter microscope. What fascinates me about my research is that we are working on something that nobody has ever worked before in the entire history of mankind. Uh, until very recently, nobody understood what Alzheimer's was. Nobody understood how the brain works, how it functions. The fact that nobody knew this before and that we're piecing it together bit by bit, that's what really, really excites me. If you're thinking about doing science, if you're the kind of person who always wants to figure out new things, always wants to ask questions that other people haven't. If you don't want to work in a cubicle, if you want to have an exciting job where you do something completely new every single day, science is a fantastic place. Uh, it is a place that lets you be creative, uh, a place that lets you be excited, and I would certainly recommend it. Okay. Uh, it's a genius. <laughs>